morning to do a little wahoo trolling. Let's do the spread that goes out. I'm gonna drop uh, two planers short off the back, a couple of feathers, two the hoochies off the outrigger, and probably a long, a long scooty out the uh, shotgun. See what we can get into this morning. traffic coming out of the inlet this morning surprisingly for a weekday but uh, we've got five lines out now we're in 20 feet of water trying to get some wahoo for a couple of hours and see how it goes looks like we got one on here 226 I'm gonna dial it back just a little bit here be the first fish of the day. When you're solo, you gotta drive the boat first and fish second. fish. The plane are out. All right. Got a little gap here between boats. Let's get into it. Staying low in the water calm, so I'm hoping it's a wahoo. This is what we're after this morning. It's January, so it could be a sailfish too. What do you think, Skipper? What do you think it is, girl? Got 125 feet a liter to get up here. Let's take our time. Still quite a few boats out here. There it is. Thankfully the shorter, deeper planer is already in. I was getting ready to deploy it when this one got hit. go a little deeper to avoid that boat in front of us. Yeah! This is on a pink and silver sea witch with a number four planer. This is the further back shallow road, the two planers that I run out here in my solo five line spread. Come on, be a wahoo. Yeah, it's a wahoo. That is what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. Try to keep him out of the engines here. Yeah! 
give him some space. When you're out here solo, you don't want to be bleeding. The boat back on track. Gonna let out some line. It's a nice one. Without some slack, just so when I get the hook out here, we don't have too much tension on them. Razor sharp teeth and high tension are not a great combination. Ah, oh, great fish. Good girl, stay away from that fish. First fish of the day. Nice wahoo. Got some debris out here in 385. See if there's something home under it. Sometimes those little buoys with some dangle and line will produce. Right by it. There's a lot of boats earlier around the Boca Inlet, so I um, dialed the uh, spread back to four lines so I was a little more maneuverable. I think I might just keep the four line spread for the morning while I'm out here by myself and not, not worry about a fifth at this point. Hey, Skipper. Well guys, I think that's about going to do it today. We uh, came out just to do a, two hours this morning, trying to put a wahoo or two in the box. Went one for one on bites. Would have been nice to get a few more bites. It was a lot heavier of boat traffic than I would have expected early this morning, but not a, not a bad day. Go home, fillet some fish, wash the boat up, and uh, tomorrow morning I'm bringing a new friend out. We're going to do a little bit of slow pitch jigging for the first time, so it'll be my first time kind of watching somebody else and getting hands on. and see what that craze has been all about. I've been, I've been curious. So hopefully you guys uh, tune into the next video and uh, thanks for watching this one.